Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lentina Marie. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to just, I really need to kind of clear my mind today. So I'm going to be just having some makeup therapy and the way that I'm going to do that is just to play with my makeup. I'm not going to talk through this video, even though I'm going to be also reviewing the Jackie, 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 Ina palette. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting a really long time. It's upside down. <laughs> I've been waiting a really long time to get my hands on this palette and I finally did a couple days ago so it's been sitting here in my makeup and I have not touched it I I'm so excited to use this palette you guys I am so like story time real quick I explained it in one of my earlier videos that I never thought that makeup was for me I never thought that I could wear makeup I was always interested in it but just didn't think that it was something that I could do and then I came across Jackie Aina's videos and she changed my life she changed my entire thought of makeup she changed my entire mindset like everything about the thoughts that I had about doing makeup just completely went out the window and she completely changed my world. And I want to thank her so much for that. She has been a big inspiration and for many, many, many years I wanted to start a channel and just didn't have the courage to do it. Then I kind of like, because when I started watching Jackie Aina, I never went back and like watched her old videos. I just kind of kept watching videos as they came up and one day I just was like let me see like how long she's been on here and um she had been on for a really long time and I just I couldn't believe that I was letting these little thoughts and these little negative things get in my way of being able to start my channel and do it and I'm here and I'm excited and I'm happy and I honestly do have Jackie to thank for that because without her courage and all, like all the things that come her way and she still is just every day on top of it doing what she's what she loves to do for the people who love to watch her so I just want to thank you Jackie for being an inspiration in my life and for my channel and also I want to say congratulations I know that I'm a little late on doing this but um congratulations I'm so proud to be able to hold this in my hands and another quick story time i don't want to start this uh video off on a negative note but um i do feel like this needs to be said so i went to get this palette honestly well i should go back a few days i went to go shopping and i saw the palette and i just kept looking at it and i was like i don't know if i want to spend that money i don't know if it's worth it like maybe i can find somebody to borrow it from and like i literally was having these thoughts through my head and i just was contemplating back and forth if i should get it or not and or if i should wait until it was on sale and all these other things so then i went into the store a few days later and i was looking at the palette again and i just was like i can't like get past really wanting this palette and i really want to pay for it and i really want to support her like it just I, all these I just was going back and forth in my mind and then I saw this sign I was at Ulta just so you guys know I saw this sign and it said buy the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette for $45 and you'll get a free product I was just like that's weird like why are they pushing the Alyssa Edwards palette when it's been out for a really long time and Jackie Aina's palette is newer but I didn't let it bother me like I just was like that's weird like Mm, curious but then I went to grab this palette and I accidentally grabbed the Alyssa Edwards palette don't ask me how I did that because they are they look nothing alike do not ask me how I did that so I grabbed the palette and I feel something on the back of her, that that palette and I'm like what the heck is this and it's a security thing lock thingy whatever to make sure that nobody steals it so I put it down and I pick I pick up this one and this one doesn't have that on it and I just was really curious as to why it didn't have the security lock on this palette. And I mean, immediately I knew I had to pay for it. Like, 
I can't, like, I have to show the support because there are too many people, too many, like, this business, this company, this community just don't want to support us the way that we should be supported and don't want to see us do good the way that we should. I mean, the Alyssa Edwards palette was being pushed and there was no security thing. Like, it's almost like, go ahead, steal that one. We don't care. But all the other palettes had the security thing on it. And I don't know if that's at all Ulta's, but it definitely was at the one that I was at. And I feel like that's pretty terrible. I, I It sucks. I mean, it sucks that they have to put those on any palettes first, first and foremost. Like, the fact that anybody feels like it's necessary to steal anything first of all makeup is not a necessity so you don't have to steal it if you don't if you can't afford it you can't afford it if you want it then kind of save up plan for that but again i don't want to make it a thing but that is a like not a huge but it's a big reason why i was like you know what i gotta just buy it i gotta show that support and it did remind me that that is something that always happens in not only the beauty community, but in the black community. We don't support each other enough and it becomes a problem and it's hard for any of us to succeed when we're not supporting each other. And so just the fact that that wasn't on her palette made me just realize like I have to support because who knows how many people came in here and did steal her palette. Um, but I bought it, I paid my own money for it. Um, yeah, this, I just wanted to put that out there. I felt like it was necessary to say it was on my heart, so I said it, and um, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to time-lapse this video, uh, speed it up so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me um, watch TV and stuff, because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch my TV and do my makeup, and I'm gonna come back and talk about it with you guys, tell you guys how exactly how I feel about the palette. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because one, again, I need to clear my head. I've had a, a long morning. I've had a super long morning. I just, I, I need some makeup therapy. And I wanna get into this palette. I don't wanna have to focus on talking and figuring out if I'm doing something right, if I'm saying something right. I just wanna do it and enjoy using the palette so that I can give you guys a fair um, analysis on how I feel about the palette. So that's where I'm at with that. So before we get started, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the family. I would truly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me, but it's time to get into this video. I'm so ready to get to, into this palette. And yeah, I love you all so much for watching and I will see you in like, I'm gonna try to make sure that this time lapse is no longer than 10 minutes. So see you in like 10.
So this is the finished look. I hope that the lighting is okay. I'm still trying to figure it out. I apologize for that. Um, but I am loving this look. <laughs> I feel like I really went in with it. I tried to use as many colors um, in the palette as possible because I wanted to really get a feel for all the shades as far as the mattes and the shimmers and everything. And so I used, I used five shades, so that's pretty good. I used Ginger, which I uh, for my transition color, I used Credit for my outer shade outer <laughs> eye color i used pinker for the inner like the lid so it's all over the lid and then i used shookington for the inner corner area on the lid so i kind of went over that and blended it with pinker i used trust issues for the inner corner and the um under my brow. I don't use a lot of purple, but I wanted to get into this purple because I know that a lot of people and Jackie Ina were very um, excited about the purple. Um, I feel like there's purples in other palettes by other brands that work just fine, but I don't use purple like that, so I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, I do think purple with on brown eyes is absolutely beautiful I think it's a perfect match so um I think she did a really good job with this palette because again she was doing it for the melaton girls out there and so putting uh the purples and the pinks in there and the browns in there I absolutely love credit that is probably going to be the first color that I hit pan on because I absolutely love it. There is not a single brown in my collection that is deep and dark enough to where I just, it fits my face so perfect. Like it fits my, it looks amazing. Um, I feel like I always have to mix a few different browns in order to get the deep dark brown that I want and credit is that right here by itself I don't have to worry about it ginger is a perfect uh, transition color edges is probably a really good transition color as well I wanted to get into wigglies but then once I got with the purples I was just like I don't know if I want to get into that and mess it up I think I like it the way it is so I didn't want to touch it. Uh, I do want to dip into Supreme. There are so many of these colors that I didn't touch that I definitely want to. Dollars, uh, Zam, uh, Sponsored. Sponsored, I really want to get into. It's just so pretty. It is so pretty. It is a color that I would never even think to look at, but because it's in this palette and it goes so well with everything that's in here, I definitely want to try it. So yeah, I'm so excited you guys for this palette. Again, Jackie, you did such an amazing job. I definitely approve this palette for everyone, not just the melanin girls out there, um, but definitely if you are my shade darker or just a little bit lighter than me, this is definitely a palette that you would want to get into because it is absolutely beautiful and honestly like a lot of people were saying that the colors that are in the palette are on the uh on the outside and I was like I don't think so like I, I think you guys are tripping but if you get into this palette you definitely can see it and it is in there there and it's beautiful did I just scratch something okay I always scratch something but yeah and I think I should mention it because I don't think I've heard it in anybody's reviews, but the brush that came with it is absolutely amazing. I love it. it I used it for most of the eye color, um, but yeah, I absolutely love it, and, and I used the Too Faced Born This Way, which is in collaboration with uh, Jackie Aina as well. I didn't have the um, the concealer, which I need to get just because I think you should use the concealer that comes with your foundation. It just makes sense to me, but yeah. Anyway, I don't want to blabble. I don't want to make this video too long. I definitely love the palette. I It was easy to use. Um, I will say, for me, it's always hard for me to use a new palette just because 
there's so many colors and there's so many ideas and I never know what I want to do but this was very easy for me to figure it out I just I knew that once I touched a color I was like okay I can go into this color I know I can go into this shade the shade will look good with this and it worked out great I'm gonna head out uh my camera's telling me that it's losing space I hope that you guys get this little part of me saying goodbye um thank you so much for watching if you like this video let me know with a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i love you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one